In this video, we're going to explore using a vector design tool to create shapes that we can then uh, import into Tinkercad and then extrude. So this program called Janvis is very similar to Illustrator or Inkscape in terms of its palette and functionality. Um, in this video, we're going to focus on the pen tool. Um, and this is a vector pen tool. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to click. Sometimes I'm going to click and drag. I'm just going to click a general shape. It's going to be pretty angular, a general shape of a bird. And you can just see I'm just clicking. Um, and it's like drawing with a piece of string. Um, and then I'm going to click here at the beak. And then it completes. And I'm going to go back to my arrow selection tool. So now I have this shape that I can uh, move around. Um, it looks really funny. And I want to make it look more like a bird. So. Uh, I'm going to go to um, this hollow arrow tool and I can select on individual points and adjust the shapes that I've made. So what I'm doing is I'm going to adjust the shape so that I have something that I would like to kind of um, export and then put on a, a design in Tinkercad. Okay, so right now I'm adjusting but I still have very angular shapes and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hold down the alt key on my keyboard and that enables me do you see how it, these little like handles come out it enables me to put curves um, by my my points and I accidentally created another shape so I'm going to hit delete I'll create that extra select that extra shape and hit delete okay I'm going to go back into my um, hollow arrow tool and I'm going to hold down the alt key again and you can see that it enables me to create curvatures. Um, I also have these two pen tools. One here on the left you can see is a, adds a point and this one subtracts a point. So I'm going to click subtract a point and I think I'm going to subtract this point right here. So when I click on it, it disappears. And I'm going to go back up to my hollow arrow tool and move this one around um, and I think I might not want there's something funny with this particular point so I'm going to go I'm going to select it and hold down the alt key and that way I have my um, more of a soft curve there I'm going to do the same with the beak and then bring that bring that point in and you can move these around okay Bring that beak in a bit more. So as you can see, some of this is just playing around uh, and holding the Alt key to drag out curvatures. Um, head still looks a little bit funny. Until you get something that you're you're pretty pretty happy with. I'm gonna bring this point in. So again, this is like drawing with a piece of string. Um, you can select multiple points at the same time and. I think I'm going to be good with that. Okay. So the next step is um, I'm going to save this. So I'm going to go up to the save icon and say save. And um, I'm going to save it into my Google Drive. Um, and so I already linked it. So I'm going to call it um, bird. That's VG. And say save. So the first time you open up the software, it asks you if you want to link it to your drive, and you can say yes. So now it's saved to my drive. And from my drive, um, I can download it. I can also export it as a PNG or JPEG, but for the purposes that I have, I want to import it into Tinkercad. Um, I want to go to my drive, go to recent, I see my bird, and I want to download it. So I'm going to. Um, select it and I'm going to say download. Okay, so now it downloads into my uh, downloads folder and I can go to my Tinkercad file. This is the file from our last exercise. Um, so once I'm in Tinkercad I can say import. You see the import button here up in the upper right? I click on that and select a file. So I'm going to choose that file that I've saved um, into my downloads and I see it up here at the top. It's called Bird SVG. And I'm trying to select it.
oh, and it's selected. So if you see the bottom, it's selected, and I say open. And um, I'm just going to say import at 100%. Oops, and it came in a little bit large, so now I can select it and hold the shift key as I drag in a corner and move it to the center of my billboard. Okay, and then I can roll my trackball in, um, and let's see what the height is. It's a little narrow, so I'm going to make it a little higher and scale it down again. So now, if I wanted to make this bird something that could snap onto the face of my ring, I can take this little post here and ungroup it and grab that little post from underneath and do control D, copy that and move it over to the bird. And if I stick it, raise it up a little bit. Sometimes we need to zoom in because these are just small pieces. Stick it on the surface of my bird and I have to make sure I go sideways because right now it's floating and look like it was on top, but it's not. So I'm going to grab the black cone and make sure that I embed the post into the bird. So now I can regroup the star over here. Group. Put it back in the middle of my ring. And now I have two different pieces that I can swap out. I can either um, put my bird on my ring or the star. And I'm going to draw a selection box around my bird and group it. The color and so here are my two my two pieces that I can snap in to the opening of my ring okay and I got to make sure everything's flat on the build table before I print and it is um, and this would be ready to uh, save and make public and um, and then 3d print